Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a question is about the reinforced concrete and the question will be analyzing of a T-beam. We are going to determine the ultimate moment can be carried by this cross section. So uh, let's solve the question. First, we are going to uh, specify that it is true beam or uh, a rectangular beam. And we are going to calculate the forces. Yeah, I'm going to show you here the forces. Now, for example, this is tension steel, and this is the concrete area block. Okay, and we have a compression a concrete here force. So let's calculate the compression concrete. It is 0.85 multiplied with uh, FCD, the design strength of the concrete. Here you can see 13.3. And multiply it uh, with B. This is B. This is BW. And this is HF. And this is D. Okay. In this question, in the sorry, in the uh, the T beam questions, we are going to use B here. Okay. So eight hundred and multiply two hundred fifty HF. And we are going to obtain two. 261 and this is the Newton as the compression concrete force so let's calculate the uh, tension steel force for tension steel we are going to take the area of steel here it is 10,000 multiplied uh, design strength of the steel uh, FYD is 365 megapascal so 365 and this will be equal to three hundred. Uh, sorry, uh, three million six hundred fifty-two. Sorry, six hundred fifty. Yeah, six hundred fifty. Sorry. And this will be the tension steel force, and this will be a compression concrete force. And we are going to compare them. Now we can see tension steel force is greater than the compression concrete. So this is. Yeah, so it is T beam. Okay. Now we determine that our cross section is T beam. So let's uh, write an equilibrium and determine the uh, the area. Yes, the depth of sorry, the depth of effective concrete area. So A. But from this uh, now uh, the comparison, we understand that the effective concrete depth here is greater than H F. This was HF. I guess you remember I told you before. So let's write an equilibrium and understand what is the exact value of A. So this is going to be the compression concrete equal to tension steel. So uh, for the compression concrete, 0.85 multiplied the design strength of the concrete and multiplied the area okay the area of the concrete for example now like i said you before the h will be greater than hf so the effective concrete will be uh, for example this part okay this part i'm gonna take the area of this part and for example this will be uh, hf until that point and this will be a minus hf I guess, right? So uh, let's take the area of this part. 8, 80, 800 multiplied 250. 800 multiplied 250. And also plus, I told you here, A minus HF. Okay, what is A? We don't know A, but we know HF. A minus HF. What is HF? 250. And this will be multiplied with 300. Why 300? Because this part, BW is 300, and this is A minus HF. And this will be equal to... Uh, sorry, I have a parenthesis also here. And this will be equal to 10,000 multiplied with 365. And A will be equal to 659.5 millimeter. Now we determine the A. 
a is we told you before a is greater than hf and now the value of uh, a is determined so uh, let's uh, find the if it is true beam if it's t beam so we need to determine the x bar the center of gravity the center of this cross section okay we are going to determine it to uh, calculate the moment can be carried by this cross section so i'm going to give you a formulation how you are going to uh, calculate it uh, the formulation is this so x bar is equal to 1 over 2 multiplied b minus bw multiplied hf square and plus bw multiplied with a sorry a square and over b minus bw multiplied hf plus bw multiplied a now the formulation is this you can use this formulation to calculate the uh, the centroid of this cross section so let's calculate it and then we are going to uh, obtain the moment okay x bar is equal to 1 over 2 what is b 800 okay minus bw 300 because look at the shape look at the cross section this is b i specified here b b w d and hf okay so now we all know them and this sorry yeah this will be multiplied with hf square what is hf 250 plus bw what is bw 300 multiplied 659.5 square over b minus bw 800 minus 30 300 and multiply, multiply with 350 plus 300 multiplied 659.5 as now you can see the applied formulation so from this formulation we are going to obtain that x bar is equal to 250.5 millimeter as the centroid of this cross section from the top of the uh, cross section okay so now we obtain the uh, centroid of the cross section let's determine the mr because in the question it asks to calculate the moment can be carried by this cross section and this will be calculated like this t tension steel multiplied d minus x bar okay because you, you have a uh, you have a cross section like that and uh, assume that here is uh, x bar and the moment will be uh, created to due to this x bar okay and this will also create this uh, due to this x bar so let's calculate the moment for this one it's gonna be uh, something like that ts what is ts let's check it this is three million six hundred fifty thousand as a force multiplied d what is d d 700 I'm gonna show you at the top of the question sorry at this is d is the 700 and minus x bar what is x bar 250.5 this is the x bar and the result will be equal to 1000 640.7 kilonewton meter now this will be the moment will be created by this cross-section forces so uh, no, sorry the moment will be carried by this uh, cross-section now the question is solved thank you for watching if you like these videos if you want to see more of the videos please subscribe and share with your friends if i did something wrong please comment and i'm gonna fix it See you for the next question.